What's going on YouTube? Finally, bringing you a chest workout. Back in the gym, this workout right here is all about muscle building. Now, I know a lot of you come to this channel for building muscle, so that's exactly what I'm gonna give you today. A chest workout geared towards putting some serious mass on your chest. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and lock in and let's get to this workout. All right, expert the fitness team like i said this workout right here is going to put some serious mass on your chest i'm gonna give you some tips i'm gonna give you the rep ranges all of the sets and we're just gonna get after it now if you aren't part of the expert the fitness team i do encourage you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button it is free cost you nothing support the channel join the expert the fitness team on this channel you're gonna learn how to build muscle and you're also gonna learn how to take your physique to the next level because that's what we're all about so kicking off this workout, one of my favorite things to do is to warm the body up. Stairmaster. That is my go-to. I love the Stairmaster. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen my home workouts. The treadmill was my best friend. But now that I'm back in the gym, Stairmaster is my go-to. It gets me nice and warm, slow pace. I usually do about five to six miles per hour for about 10 to 15 minutes. What you don't want to do when you're warming up is get tired. You do not want to get tired and exhaust yourself. So don't go out there doing 20, 30 minutes of some serious cardio before your workout. That's out outrageous do not do that just warm the body up whether it's on the treadmill stairmaster the bike the elliptical five to ten minutes is all you need just get the body warm and get the body primed and ready to go first exercise we come to is some cable crossovers i've missed the cable so much this is actually i think my second workout inside of the actual gym i was super ready super pumped to get this workout done. This right here is just to warm the chest up. And when I say warm the chest up, we're getting the chest ready for the whole entire workout. So starting off with the cable crossovers, how you hit the chest is all dependent on your hands, your arms, and the path that you are moving. So you will see here, I got one foot out and one foot back just to make sure I keep a nice balance. Stability is everything as well. I don't load up on weight. I don't need a lot of weight for these cable crossovers. Like I said, this is just a warm up. But what I do wanna do is make sure that I am squeezing as best I can when I'm bringing my hands together. Now, what I'm doing is keeping my hands open. I wanna keep my hands open, allowing them to pull all the way back, keeping my arms fairly straight. And then when I come in, same motion, I'm not changing my arms or nothing but I'm squeezing as best I can, bringing my hands together. When your hands are open and they're touching, that's as far as you can take it. So when your hands are together, you wanna make sure that you pause for at least one to two seconds, maybe even three, if you really wanna force that blood into your chest. The part of your chest that you hit is all dependent upon where you actually place your pulleys. So I have mine pretty much in the middle because I want to target that whole overall chest. If I drop the pulley down from the bottom and do a fly that way, now I'm hitting the upper chest. And if I take the pulleys all the way to the top and do a fly that way, now I'm targeting the lower chest. So for me in this warm up, I really want to hit the overall chest. So that's why I have the pulleys set in the middle. Again, please do not overdo it with the weight. Do not go in there ego lifting on your warm ups. Warm ups are what they are. Use this warm up to get the blood flowing in your chest and get you ready. All right, first working exercise. I have missed this machine so much. At home, I was doing the incline bench press. That's all I could do. I had a barbell and I had a squat rack. This machine right here allows you to be in place, allows you to move in one motion, and also allows you to throw on a little bit more weight than you would if you just had a barbell. Machines are safer. There's no way around that. I don't always recommend using nothing but machines, but for a lot of you out there who are beginners, machines will be your best friend. What I did here, the same as I do all my movements, I like to warm up with just doing lighter weight. And I just add on weight on each set. For the rep raise on these, I'm doing anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. We're here to build muscle. Volume is key. Hypertrophy is key. I don't want you going in there doing five reps, six reps. No. In order to tap into that real muscle building phase, you really need to take your reps all the way to at least 12. 12 to 15. 12 minimum. And so with that being said, never load the weight up to where you can't even crank out 10 reps. There's a time and a place for everything. If you're going in there for strength, sure, hit you seven or eight reps. But right here in this workout, we're all about muscle building, not necessarily about the strength. The strength is going to come. Let's take it to the barbell. If you're repping 135 for 15 reps, I'm pretty sure you can do 150 for 12. And then once you get used to that 150 for 12, you'll probably be able to do that 150 for 15. So with that being said, now you probably can do 185 for 12. And once you get that 85 up to 15 reps, now you can do 200 for 12. You see how I'm going with that? No matter what, you are going to build strength, but make your main goal to build muscle. I'm getting the deepest stretch 
I can with this exercise right here. I'm bringing my elbows all the way back past the seat, really opening up that chest. If you don't know, in order to build a nice big chest, you need to make sure you are stretching the hell out of your chest when you're exercising. Stretch it and then contract. Like I said, I have missed this machine. This is the upper chest machine right here, really getting in that work. I know y'all see the Spider-Man gloves I got. These gloves right here are super clutch. These gloves allow me to not have to touch the equipment. We're still in a pandemic and we wanna be as safe as possible. You also see me wearing the mask. I keep my mask on majority of my workout. If I need to breathe a little heavier or if I'm in my own space, I would remove my mask a little bit just so I can breathe better. But I keep the mask on, I keep my gloves on. What's good about these gloves is that in order to put them on, you have to tighten up your wrist, like a wrist wrap. So I don't have to wear wrist wraps because they're attached to my gloves. Super clutch, especially on this push workout right here. If you have weak wrists like mine, it's gonna be a little harder for you to push some heavier weight. So what you wanna do is get you some type of wrist wraps. All right, so enough about that exercise. Got my BCAAs right here. You guys know how I do with the Extend. This right here is one of my favorite flavors. It's the blue raspberry ice. Matter of fact, I got it right here. This is one of my go-tos. So the BCAA is for me, all about your electrolytes, all about helping me not fatigue in the workout. I'm really pushing myself in these workouts and the BCAAs help me push even further. You guys already know the link is down low in the description box. Go check it out. All right, now it's time for a superset. So what a superset is, it allows you to do one exercise and then follow up with another exercise back to back. So exercise A and then exercise B, that is one set. That's a superset. So for this superset right here, we're doing dumbbell bench press flat, and we're also gonna do some dumbbell flies, also flat. So I'm not going crazy heavy on these dumbbell flies. One, because this is like my second workout back on these real weights. I really wanna slow myself down and really feel them again. And also, this is a superset, which means my chest is gonna be fully tensed up, getting this work in throughout this whole entire superset, all these rounds. So there's no need for me to go super crazy on the weight. So I'm using 75 pounds right here. And as I said before, I am really stretching the chest. Notice how much of a stretch I'm getting in the chest. And then at the top, I'm really contracting and squeezing. You don't have to touch the dumbbells at the top. That is unnecessary. And really because you're gonna lose all that tension in your chest. So what you wanna do is just make sure you're pressing up, just like if you were doing a barbell bench press. Slow down your exercises. It's all about time under tension. Tut, I do not want you moving so fast in these workouts. I want you to slow things down, really feel these exercises and really get it in. Like I said, we're super setting this with some dumbbell flies. Now I want you to pay close attention on how I'm doing these flies. Look at my hands, look at my wrists. So what I'm doing is start with my hands together, dumbbells touching, and then when I'm moving my arms down, I'm opening up my wrist. Notice how the wrist change, notice how the hands change. And then when I bring it back, I'm really squeezing and putting those dumbbells back together. So that little change right there is allowing me to stretch a little further at the bottom of this movement. And as you can see, I'm getting a dumb stretch. Stupid stretch. I can't stress that enough. The stretch that you get in your pecs when you are training chest is gonna allow you for a better contraction and it's gonna allow you to build better muscle. Key, I said better muscle. I didn't say more muscle, I said better muscle. How you work out, how you train is gonna determine how your body develops. And what we want is the best physique, taking our physique to the next level. So we wanna make sure that when we exercise, when we train, that we're really using these techniques to the best of our ability. All right, last superset that we have. These are our last two exercises of this workout. We have some decline push-ups. Decline push-ups, body weight is key. Incline is also key. Regular is also key. Basically, push-ups are key. Never wanna neglect push-ups. You can do push-ups at home. You can do push-ups in the gym. You can do push-ups at work. You can always do push-ups. So I always recommend do push-ups. It was one time where I was doing 100 push-ups a day, really getting in. Chest was full, chest was loaded with blood for 30 days. Go check that video out. I put a card up there for you. But basically for these decline push-ups, we are targeting that upper chest. Yes, I said upper chest. A lot of you are out there thinking that the incline push-up is for upper chest. That's not the case. So this is how you look when you're doing an incline push-up. I want you guys to drop down, do an incline push-up and notice that your arms are like this, technically. And so when you are pressing, you are hitting that lower chest right there. Look at that, all that. That's all lower chest. When you do a decline push-up, your arms are up here right there, and you're talking nothing but upper chest. And then obviously when you do a regular push-up, that's your overall chest. It took me a little while to understand that as well, but I'm giving it to you now. I actually think I made a video about it before, but either way, the decline push-up is for your upper chest. And so that's why we're talking in the upper chest right here. And then we're moving on to dips. These dips right here, I do not recommend if you cannot understand how you should be doing it. You will put yourself at injury, and other than that, you won't even be targeting your chest. So basically something you wanna remember is that 
when you are targeting your chest on your dips, you want to lean forward a bit, a slight lean. I don't want you leaning too much, too far. I want you to do a little slight lean forward and that's how you're really gonna target that chest. If you lean back a little bit, now your triceps are fully engaged. We are focused on chest in this workout, so we wanna eliminate using too much shoulder and too much triceps. With all your chest exercises, you're obviously gonna target your delts and also your triceps. What we wanna do is change the variations and change the techniques just so we can eliminate using too many of those secondary muscles. The chest is the primary muscle and we really wanna focus on hitting nothing but the chest. So I brought you all different techniques. I brought you some good tips, good rep ranges on how you can build muscle. I brought it to you in this video. I have a playlist right here, a massive chest playlist, all chest workouts. You can do them at home, you can do them in the gym. I really need you guys to check this one out. Let's get after a bigger chest. And if you aren't subscribed, I need you to subscribe right now. Join the X-Factor Fitness team. Let's keep building. We're actually on our way to 6K. 6K members on the X-Factor Fitness team. It's free. I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna catch you in the next one.